Yeah, I forgot what I'm doing. Hello everybody, it's Julian James and welcome to the Julian James Show. I'm excited to be here for another exciting week. Today is June 2020 and I shot a video on March 25th, 2020 and I was going to release it and things just continue to escalate. As you can tell, you know, life has been a little interesting since around that time. So I'm going to do something a little different and I want to still do the video because I think that it's a little bit more relevant today than it was then. So let's get into it. Hit check, skin check, hair check. All right, ladies, do we want on or do we want off? We're gonna do off because I really don't like it on. Hello everybody, it's Julian James. Welcome back to the Julian James Show. I'm excited to be here for another exciting week. It's been a minute and I have a lot to say. Let's get into it. So I last did a video last month for Black History Month and I was gonna do a whole lot of other things. Like I had a video I wanted to do for my anniversary. I've officially been on YouTube for three years. Woo! No, so I've officially been on YouTube for a year. A year. I've officially been on YouTube for three years. Um, three years and absolutely nothing to show for it. Shout out to me and shout out to y'all. We made it. <laughs> Um, and I really wanted to do something exciting for my anniversary and I really wanted to, I honestly would have been making videos like, I know this bitch is like, oh, he has his excuses. Well, yeah, girl, ask all my exes and my daddy. All I got is excuses, whatever. But I really would have been making videos for you guys, um, but I started going blonde and when you have Negro jeans as strong as mine, it takes more than one treatment to get the whole head. And as you can see, I'm not done. And as you can see, the black is starting to come back. So I was not trying to be seen, but I have a lot to say today, so. Follow that. Just one of the many pitfalls of bad bitchery, I guess. So this is about Big Rona and all these. Y'all done made me so tired with Big Rona. So, you know, we have this virus. It is a global pandemic. It is, you know, a big deal. Um, the only people that aren't treating it like a big deal is this country. It is a very big deal. Uh, people really shouldn't be going outside. People really should not be going outside. And I say that as somebody who, I think I've gone out to eat like every day for the last two weeks, but that's bad. Like it's bad that I do it, but it's even worse that I can. <laughs> Close these restaurants. Close it all. Honey, Mary Keisha Lance Bottoms basically said, oh, you can stay home, but if you don't, it's okay. Like, no, stay home. Americans are taking this way too seriously. We need to stay home, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me go back a little bit. So for those of you who don't know, the coronavirus is a virus that is not new. The virus actually isn't new at all. The virus is actually very old. However, humans have never contracted it before. And it's a respiratory disease or a, res a respiratory virus. And uh, it does attack your respiratory system, which as we as humans, we, we need that a lot. And it's growing at a really intense rate. However, a big reason why it's growing at such an intense rate is because all of you uh, blabbity blacks and all of you post your passport to go to DC ass niggas, decided y'all wanted to take spring break, coronavirus be damned. So not only did you get on a metal suppository with a bunch of people with your sickness, you got on that metal suppository with other people's sicknesses, flew all over the country, some places even the world, took your sickness there, got back on that incubus and brought it back to where you came from and took it home to your mamas and daddies. And to that, like y'all, not y'all are the problem because the real issue here is the lack of leadership this country has and the lack of faith we as Americans have in our leadership in this country. That is the real problem. The um. The blatant incompetence is the actual problem with the coronavirus in this country. Because countries like China and Italy, and even they, they, they didn't get it right straight out the gate. They didn't do everything correctly immediately, but they got their shit together eventually. And yes, lack of freedom in government does have a lot to do with that. However, they're starting to get somewhere because they did something real about it. And us as Americans taking this as a joke, you know, I guess, okay. So I guess I just have three simple points to make. And one of them, again, is this virus, stay your ass at home, because a big part of the problem in New York and Florida, and honestly in Georgia, e everywhere, is the fact that y'all went on spring break. Not like literally y'all went on spring break and y'all are killing the world, but literally it's dangerous to be in a close quarters with the virus. And then y'all ain't getting on the shower before y'all get on a plane and after. I know y'all ain't doing that. Y'all are not washing your hands in the airport. I know that firsthand. That is how diseases like this spread. You ever seen Planet of the Apes? The reason why humanity was destroyed was because the flight attendant wanted to get sick and go, and go to work. A flight attendant was sick and chose to go to work. That will be how we all go out if y'all do not stay your asses at home. Second point I wanted to make. So we all are bored. Everyone is bored. Everybody is bored. And everybody is bored. 
So take care of yourselves because seriously, like, you know, I have been fun employed for years at this point and staying inside of the house, if there was an Olympics for it, I'd be a gold medalist out this bitch. You have to take care of yourself. And I understand that a lot of you guys don't have any other function besides work or school. And that is a something else that I'll get into in another video because I have a lot to say about that as well. But I understand a lot of you guys only know two functions and that's productivity and sleep. I know you guys only know work and school. I know that. I know that if you don't have someone giving you structure, you don't have any because you've been structured since kindergarten. I get that, I received that. Um, but you gotta learn to be disciplined and independent. This is the time. And I'm not one of those people who's gonna get on here and say, pick up a hobby, pick up a skill, pick up a... That. Be... When I tell you, I see those tweets talking about how can I make some bread from the bed while we in quarantine. Money should be the last thing you niggas are worried about. Ciao. Y'all about to be locked up in the house for a minute. I know y'all's president said 15 days. I know the scientists said 10 to 12 weeks. Both of them niggas lied. We will be very lucky if we're getting back outside by Beyonce's birthday. That's where y'all heads should be at. We will be very lucky if we are getting back to our daily routines by the fall. That is like... Optimism, that is optimistic, okay? So all y'all's graduations, I know it's so sad. Oh, your degree's gonna go somewhere, is it? It's gonna get up and walk away. You're fine. Your, uh, I get it, your graduations, your vacations, and it's sad. Your weddings, all that is sad. It is really sad. Like, it's sad, people save up, people work really hard, and you know, be with that, grieve that, mourn that, but let it go, because that ain't happening. Best believe, but at least if you get married or graduating or something like that, at least that's something can't nobody take away from you. But girl, all you girls talking about vacation this and trip that, let it go. Because even if, and honestly, your weddings and shit, cancel that shit. Cancel that shit. If you plan on getting married within the next three to four months, let it go. Because even if the shit is magically lifted and we're all back on our feet by June, July, even if that happens, which it won't, let me say again, but even if that does happen, just be, okay, your date may have survived, but honey, the vendors, the company you had vendoring probably won't. The photographer you probably hired won't be able to work, sweetheart. The caterer you probably hired, all the, their companies down under. This shit is very permanent. Y'all are treating it like it is temporary and it is not. And it is permanent. This is about to be real. Even if Trump gets us in some sort of way where we can go out and we can go back to work, the effects of the coronavirus are just getting warmed up. Y'all are talking about when this blows over. Baby girl, we're just getting started. <laughs> we are just getting warmed up. That's like, grieve it, mourn it, move on, but move on. Because what we really do need to be concerned on is being healthy and staying alive indoors. I know a lot of people are quarantined with people they don't like, toxic family, this, that, and the third. And you know, I'm the last person to say, forgive your toxic family members, as far as I'm concerned, them. But you do have to find a way for you to be okay while you're stuck with them for the next Lord knows how long. You have to figure that out for your health. You have to figure that out. I get it, it's really hard. Me and my mother have not shared an intimate living space since I was 17 years old, and I am driving up the wall. I am, I am. But it just is what it is. And you know, take this opportunity to get closer to your family, get closer to your friends. We are, humans are about to need humans in a way that is unprecedented in the modern world. Get to know your folk because you're gonna, you gonna get real close to them. So you may as well get to know them while you got the chance, honey. Um, next, I just wanna say to people, again, who like don't wanna, don't wanna stay inside. I get not wanting to stay inside. I get it, I, I haven't, but I'm not going out, okay? And even if I, and honestly, I'm dragging myself because I am part of the problem. Like, stay your asses inside. Stay indoors. Because eventually it's gonna get to a point where we can't. And so if you're, if you're like me, you're just trying to do it before you know you can't do it no more. I feel you, I can't judge you, but stop it. It's not good. It's really not good for the, it's not good for people. It's really, 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 really not. And the spread, and lastly, my last point is the spread of misinformation is really lethal. At this point, spread of misinformation and inciting panic and riot, that's lethal. That will be, that'll be something else that starts to get us killed. Because once we, once people start to realize that they can't leave homes, uh, theft is about to go up, crime is about to go up, there's gonna be a lot of felonies, a lot of corpses, and a lot of babies being made, thanks to Big Rona, okay? So you really do have to secure yourself. I'm not saying, okay, shotgun. I don't know why y'all, so many of y'all getting shotguns. That's foolish, but Americans are foolish, so whatever. I, um, and I don't mean with like weapons. I mean safety, like safety as in making sure you're somewhere safe. Like if you're not somewhere right now where you can be for the next two to three to four weeks, go there. Like there's, you need to go there. Stop going to work. Stop going to work. That's like three point, that's my point three and a half. Stop going to work. Because at the end of the day, that's dangerous. 
these companies are going to get bailed out. Now, whether the American people will receive these checks or not, these little Trump checks that they talk about, whether that happens or not, which girl, good luck. These companies will get bailed out. Fuck them. Do not go to that job because they don't care about you. And if you dead and you die, then what's gonna happen? Then what? If you go to work, you get a <coughs> then what you gonna do? What's your job gonna do? Nothing. Replace you. That's what your job is gonna do. Stop going to work. If you're working from home, that's something else. <laughs> I'd say that too, but don't listen to me because I'm horrible with working. <laughs> so that ain't it. But like, don't go to work. If you're an essential worker, you should be getting an essential paycheck. And I know you're not. So that, like, no, don't go. I don't really know. This video is really short. It's called Quarantines. Quarantines. Cause I am in the house. As of today, the doll is indoors, outside is canceled, you know, events are canceled, kickbacks are canceled, watch parties are canceled, cocktail nights canceled, appointments that exceed more than five miles are canceled. Don't even worry about it. Just eh, cancel it all. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Right now what we need to do is love on each other and focus on each other and try to strengthen our bonds with ourselves and with each other because we are all we've got. We are all we've got. <laughs> and um, that's really it. Short video. Don't really feel like doing too much. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, also like it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, follow, tell your mother, your brother, your sister, and your friends. You know, leave a comment, leave a question, leave a concern, leave some suggestions because I have a lot of bored shit coming. So that being said, you know, like, follow, subscribe, share, social media, and all that, all the, all that other fun stuff will be in the bio. Uh, and remember, eat the rich. Have a nice week. So yeah, you know, that was then. And honestly, it really does still apply today as far as the quarantine is concerned, as far as the state of the world, as far as the fact that we are entering a realm of permanent change. There will be no going back to normal. Everything is starting, and not even starting over, it's changing. The chapter is closing. And I feel like it's been a while since culturally there's been something so defining. I mean, honestly, I would say around 2001, September 11th. And that was now almost nine years ago. Like that was, n wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo, child, I'm a lot of Okay, so um, that was 19 years ago. It's been a minute since it's like, okay, that was then. And this is now. And culturally, you know, every around 50 years, it's like a 50 year cycle and we're there. So I just want to encourage everyone to embrace the change around them, lean into the change around them, fight for something, stand for something. We're in a stage of life where you really are just going to have to stand for something or fall for anything. And we are really in a point where it's like, it's like we've had options to do better. We've had options to do certain things and options to move forward in certain ways. And now the option is gone. Ain't no choice. It's just, it, you gotta do it. We're here. This is it. <laughs> you know, I look forward to seeing you guys soon and be blessed. Tell someone you love them today.